the life of these Rohingya communities in Butidong and Mongdo, you constantly fear the threatening of the government, particularly the security forces. What I found was a pattern of systematic discrimination in all areas. The first documented evidence of government-sponsored discrimination was revealed by Fortify Rights. These documents that we released in 2014 essentially lay out the architecture of abuse that the Rohingya have faced for decades. These are documents spelling out restrictions on the Rohingya Muslim population, so restrictions on movement, restrictions on marriage, on childbirth. This document is written by district-level government officers in Rakhine. Its title is to control outgoing vehicles, and it says all outgoing passenger vehicles must be strictly controlled to ensure that no Muslim is on board. The idea of an apartheid system which privileges Buddhists over Muslims is absolutely on the state's agenda. With restrictions on movement, that means people can't pursue a livelihood, they can't seek employment, they can't travel to a health clinic. If they become sick, they can't travel to a school. It impacts every basic aspect of someone's life. 